my interest in abstract art comes from the fact that I was raised in the country. And one of the things we did a lot was walking through the woods uh, from my our house to our grandmother's house to our, our house to another relative's house. And sometimes we'd go off the trails and just wander through the woods. And what you learn from looking at what seems to be a gnarl of woods is that there could be a sign that tells you you're going in the right direction to somebody's house. There could be a sign that tells you the way the tree is growing, that there's something there that you need to avoid. So I think that looking at these forests as a child and walking through them and running through them and knowing how to negotiate them really is a part of the visual information that feeds my particular interest in abstract art. Because nature would grow a particular way, but you have to read those signs and have some experience and trust in the signs that you see and recognize that the journey may be one of surprise. Yes. Not always what you know. Yes, yes. And I think, too, I, I also think that there's an emotional element to some of the work anyway, and much of it, that um, gives the art the ability to communicate something that's not necessarily just limited to visual. You, you feel something when you see the piece. It's almost like, I like to draw the analogy like with jazz music, for example. I mean, to me, that's like musically kind of abstract. And I it's agree. spontaneous and can convey things that if you, allow yourself the opportunity to be open to it. You might surprise yourself and really get something out of it you never expected. Exactly. I agree. 